Welcome, in front of me is a OnePlus Nord 4 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So when you boot it up for the very first time you should be presented with the hello screen and you just have the arrow to go forward and on the next next page you can choose your desired language from the vast list of languages. Now for me it's selected the correct one, English, so I will now just choose next. And this allows me now to choose my region. Let's go with United States, this doesn't really matter whatsoever, as far as I know. So I can go to the next page, legal information, we have user agreement which can tap on the view details to see what you are actually agreeing to, and user privacy policy which is a very rich thing considering it's an Android which, as we all know, spies on us. So user privacy is not really part of it. Anyway, let's go to the next page. Connect to mobile network. Uh, this step is completely optional. You can do so by inserting a SIM card. Now, the reason it shows up here as an option, even though you can on the next page connect to Wi Fi instead, uh, or you can just skip both of those, is that if you have some kind of network connection, that be through your SIM card or through Wi Fi, throughout the setup process at that point, you will see the Google login page. Date and time will be set automatically, and you'll also have the option to restore your backups. Uh, Google backups to the device. But if you choose to skip both of those, like I am, some of those options won't be available and date and time won't be set automatically. On the next page we have set up using another device. This is another option for you to set up the phone. If maybe you have another tablet running on Android, you could just kind of transfer over all the applications along with the accounts there. Um, or you can also do that using an iPhone or iPad. I'll be skipping this. And here is the Wi-Fi page which I mentioned. Again, you can connect to it if you want to, or you can select skip if you don't want to connect right now. Next, we have Google services, and we have services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn those all off, but let's be honest, it's Google. So again, uh, turning those off prob probably means F all in terms of Google and Google size, as uh, your privacy is their privacy. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna go to the next page by selecting accept and this allows us to select unlocking method. We have three options like pin, pattern, password, fingerprint or face recognition. The reason I clamped up the first three is because you can only use one of those. Now if you're planning to use either fingerprint or face recognition or maybe even both, you will always be required to select pin, pattern or password. The reason for that is if something would happen to your biometrics, meaning your fingerprint uh, like on a finger or maybe your face let's just say you're in an accident, you would lose access to the device and you would lose it either till those biometrics heal, meaning your face or your finger, or both, uh, or you might actually not gain access to it ever again. So therefore that would leave you with the last option, which would be pin pattern and password, which isn't subject to change when something happens to your biometrics. Now I'll be also leaving my phone unprotected, so I'm gonna select later, uh, or skip and then later. And now it's getting my phone ready. Some recommended, we have auto update overnight, a global search, a quick connect and some other things. You can turn those on or off depending on what you want. You can also read exactly what these are by clicking the gray text or selecting learn more, but that would take too much time. So I'm just gonna select next page. Here we have screen uh, display. So this just allows us to choose the uh, size of the fonts and also icons, as you can see, it changes the actual size of those as well. Next we have the navigation styles and we have two different ones. We have the buttons and we have the gestures. The gestures are the newest, newer ones and that's what I prefer so I'm gonna select gestures and luckily this device nowadays doesn't actually force us to go through the learning process as gestures have been out for like half a decade now so pretty sure everyone knows how to use those already. And we can then select get started which will take us to the home screen with the device fully set up. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.